On the rocky slopes of the mountainous Mediterranean backcountry live Papilio Alexano. It loves warm limestone sites, dry, stony or rocky, from 600 to 1500 metres in altitude. The Alexano butterfly is the only one in France that spends the night with its wings open and antennae positioned parallel and pointing forwards, often resting at the bottom of an embankment or cliff. And as soon as the butterfly has warmed up in the sun, it flies off to feed. This beautiful butterfly flies in one generation between mid-June and late July. In France, it lives in very small and localized populations in the southeast. Males patrol above the rocky slopes, systematically, relentlessly inspecting flowers and host plants in search of females. Males briefly chase other males, or white butterflies, in a twirling flight and sometimes confuse their own kind with two similar related species of the same Papillonidae family, such as the scarce swallowtail, Ephiclides podalirius, and the swallowtail, Papilio macaon. In Greek mythology, Machaon and Podalirius are the sons of Asclepius, god of medicine, and Alexano is the son of Machaon. Mid-June, a butterfly is about to emerge. To free itself from the chrysalis, the butterfly pumps its body fluid, the hemolymph, towards the head creating pressure which causes the breaking of a triangular sheath enclosing the legs and antennae. While continuing to pump the hemolymph, the butterfly frees its legs, then completely releases itself from the chrysalis. During the following minutes, the butterfly is extremely vulnerable because its new exoskeleton is still soft and it's a female. It spreads its wings still under pressure from the hemolymph. Once its wings have dried, it relocates and rests. And after about half an hour, a male spots her and the nuptial flight can begin. The two butterflies land on a plant and mate. Once fertilised, the female lays single eggs on the umbels of Dicotis, preferentially on those in bud or early bloom. Egg incubation lasts about a week, during which the egg turns from pale green to golden yellow. But the day before hatching, it becomes transparent. At dawn the next day, a caterpillar nibbles a passage to freedom. It feeds on the egg coating, rich in protein. After a few days, the caterpillar undergoes its first molt. A 
few days later, the caterpillar has really grown and feeds on the flowers. Like real acrobats, the caterpillars use their abdominal legs to cling to the stem and hold on, and use their thoracic legs to hold the stem in order to eat the most nourishing flowers. Eventually, the caterpillar leaves the host plant in search of a suitable site to prepare its metamorphosis. It may travel great distances to find an ideal place. This must be hidden away from sunlight, the damp and snow. The next day, in this place sheltered under a big pile of stones, the caterpillar spins a silken belt to secure its position. and slips into this safety belt, which will keep the chrysalis in place. And two days later, the transformation into a chrysalis begins. The chrysalis having a flattened shape, a grey-brown colour and a granular texture blends perfectly into its rocky environment. The chrysalis hibernates motionless until spring. Although Alexanor is on France's red list of protected species, Isolated populations in the south of France are still threatened by collectors. Thankfully, more and more butterfly enthusiasts are exchanging their nets for the camera and choosing to record their sightings on film. The survival of this beautiful and exceptional butterfly is important if we are to preserve the colour and beauty on our mountain slopes for the future.